guys, in this video we're going to have a little look at the servos in this TRX4. They're still giving me issues, let's have a look. So, my steering servo is a Power HD 20kg servo and I killed the gears. The gears finally gave way. I need a servo saver on this. I know a lot of people keep telling me, Kev, you don't need a servo saver, it's a crawler. But, I do bash with this and this, every servo I've ever put in here takes a beating and gets ruined. So I'm definitely going to have to fit a servo saver to this. If anybody in the comments knows of a servo saver that will fit this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just have to try and figure something out. So a lot of people do give me a hard time telling me I shouldn't be bashing it because it's a crawler. But the way I always look at it is it's a hobby and this hobby is supposed to be fun. So whichever way puts the biggest smile on your face, that's the right way to do it. And bashing this crawler gives me a great laugh. So I'm not going to stop bashing it just because somebody says you're not supposed to. Also, I've got these two Power HD mini servos in here for the diff locks and they kind of stopped working. So I'm going to have a little look there what's going on. I think the issue is that you cannot set any endpoints on this for the shift servos. So what, what that means is that these servos are under constant strain. They're always trying to force further than what they can go. So I need to try and fix that. I mean, people keep telling me, put a different radio on. I mean, I've got this Spectrum one here, that might work. But I use this radio here for all of these cars. And when we go out bashing, I really don't want to have to carry loads and loads of radios. I'd rather just be able to drive all my cars off for this one radio here. If I can't solve the problem, then yes, I will have to go to something like that. But what I've got here is a servo endpoint adjuster. And pretty much you plug it in line with the servo and then you can adjust on here the endpoints of the servo. So I'm going to plug this in on here, give it a little play and see if it works. If I can get this thing to work, I'm probably going to buy a couple more and have three on here. So, so I can actually limit the servo travel on each one of these servos. So the little gadget I've got here is made by the Model Radio Workshop. I think they're a British company. So I'm going to plug that in and give it a go. We've got all the instructions here. So this is how you're supposed to wire it in, and it's got all the setup instructions there. So if you're interested, you can pause the video and take a look. So first of all, I'm just going to plug this in and see what's actually going on. Ah, this servo has started to work again. All right, so this one does work, but it has gone noisy. This other one here... Ah, it's just gone really weak. It can barely move under its own power. And I've loosened it off, so it's definitely not the, the screws pinching the case. So guys, I'm not sure on these blue bow servos. I mean, I'm gonna, I've got a load more coming. I will give them another chance just to see what happens. But this time, definitely with this thing attached, just to see what happens. So I'm gonna try it with a shift servo first. I think that's this one here. Let's just verify that by flicking the switch. Yes. I'm hoping I, if this works, I can fit all three of these under the hair. It might be a little bit tight, I don't know. So that goes in there. That goes in there. All right, so that works again. So the idea is, is that we set the endpoints as little as possible so that the servo's under no strain. But I still want to be able to get the, obviously the high and low and the diff locks in. So the idea is, is finding the sweet spot of where the servo's not straining, but it's getting into the position where it wants to get in. So I'm just quickly going to have a little read through these instructions, then I'm going to put you back on. Ha! Easy! So, to set it up, you press both buttons at the same time until that little red light comes on. Then, you stick the servo into the position that you want to have it in, so... We're in this position here, and then you can use the plus and minus to set where you want the end point to be. So obviously we want to get it so that it's in gear, so let's knock it out of gear. And we'll keep, keep adding that until the thing jumps back into gear. A bit more. We just want to make sure that there's no strain on this servo horn, and that's, that's pretty good there. And then you do the same again, but in the other position. A minus, yep, plus. So if you go too far, see that's now forcing. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see the horn starting to deflect. So a bit less, bit less, bit less. So you want to make sure that, that shift does move to full travel. Right, so as you can see now, guys, that is moving 
both ways, maximum travel, and there's no load on this servo now. So now this should actually solve the problems these servos keep burning themselves out. Well, I bloody hope so anyway. Ah, one more thing I did forget to mention. When you're done, you've got to press both buttons together and that will exit setup mode. Very important you do that or it's not going to remember the settings. Actually, guys, I think that's going to be a struggle to get that in there. I mean, I might be able to get one in there. But definitely not free. All right, so guys, that's too tight. I can't even screw the lid down properly, not without forcing it. So I think I will have to modify this receiver case. What I might do is buy myself another cap and just cut it off along this line here and then glue another cap on top of it just to make it a little bit taller. And then that way I can get all of these little endpoint adjustment mechanisms inside the case and just have it as a nice little neat wiring job without all wires and cables hanging about everywhere. So hopefully that little gadget's gonna help some of you guys out. I know a lot of people are burning these servos out, they're stripping the gears, and you know, it's because the servo is constantly forcing itself and it can't go any further, and it's literally like that all the time when the car's in use. It really isn't any good. So we really do need to find a way to limit the end point of these servos, and this little gadget seems to do it perfectly. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted, see how I get on with this. I'm gonna keep using this for a little while now. I'm gonna order another two, put them in, see how we get on. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button so notified. See you soon, bye.